So, what do you see? Okay. Well, I mean, you've seen Oswald's, you, you've seen the famous photograph of Oswald in custody, sitting down in the chair with his, uh, his, his handcuffed and his, his hair's all, uh, quite honestly, bushy. I can definitely see how Oswald, uh, at that moment, could be described as having bushy hair. By the way, you mentioned the, the reports on the police tapes by uh, Walker and also by Summers. Do you, are you familiar with the witnesses who gave these descriptions to these two particular police officers? Do you know who the witnesses are? Matt? Yeah, I'm here. Go on. Who gave the description to Walker? That was Warren Reynolds. Right. And who gave the description to Summers? Callaway. Okay. Just making sure you knew. So uh, why didn't you mention, you, you realized that Callaway said that the suspect was wearing a uh, Eisenhower type jacket, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, let me ask you one other question. Ed. Quite honestly, I wish that uh, we could look up some legal uh, case reviews, but how often do you think that one man alone robs a convenience store and there's the clerk as well as three uh, customers in the convenience store and they give four totally different descriptions to the police of what this man looked like as far as height, weight, age, uh, hair color, hair description. You realize that, uh, I mean, I can look this up when we're done, but I, I guarantee you it's at least half the time. Police officers, if they interview three or four witnesses, they're getting three or four dis different descriptions, yet they all saw the same man. So so you're, you're, you're talking about, you just now gave these descriptions, and these descriptions that you just now read off are different from one description to the next, right? No. What's that? No. These are day. so what you just said about, you know, the whole, oh, eyewitnesses and everything, that, so, so that's an excuse. I know that that's what everyone throws out whenever, you know, they don't have an answer for it. But uh, what I read you was day one descriptions. And, and that's fine. Okay, so do me a favor, if you don't mind. Can you read the, the, the Walker description and the Summers description again? White male, about 30, black hair, wearing a white jacket, white shirt, and dark slacks. It's volume 17, page 410. But again, as I said, Oswald was 24, brown hair, didn't own a white jacket, and wore a brown shirt. Not Oswald. And what about Summers? Uh, Summers told it, uh, he, it says right here, a white male, 27, 5'11", 165 pounds, black wavy hair, uh, white shirt but oswald was 24 5 9 135 pounds brown hair and wearing a brown shirt i could literally go on forever yeah. on these descriptions and i'm and, like yeah now now the walker report did he give the height if he did i missed it what was the height the height was um five eight that's what i thought so so are you telling me that callaway and Warren Reynolds saw two different men? No. All right, well, th then you're proving my case. So so basically, Warren Reynolds is telling Walker that the guy was 5'8", about 30 years old, and Ted Calloway is telling Summers the guy was 27 and 5'11", 5'11". 5 5 so, so you're proving my case that w this, two different witnesses can describe one man in two different manners. It, it doesn't mean a thing. It, it literally means nothing. The only thing right in there is the height for off, what Officer Walker said. So everything else but, doesn't. But, but you just told me that you, you believe that Callaway and Warren Reynolds saw the same man. And you just now gave me a description that Warren Reynolds gave to Walker and that Ted Callaway gave to Summers. So the, only, right? so the only thing that matches is white male and the height for Walker. whoop de doo Okay. So, 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 so one witness has the guy 5'11". The other witness has the guy 5'8". Yeah. So One witness has the guy 30 years old. The other witness has the guy 27 years old. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You're proving, you don't understand what I'm saying here. You're proving my point that these two guys saw the same man, yet they described him differently. So therefore, if, if we know that two witnesses can describe the same man completely different, then, then what's it matter? They're not, des not describing him differently. They both said he was wearing black hair. They both said he was almost 30. No, they didn't. No, no, no. no. One, one said he was. Right, one sure. said he was about thirty. One said he was twenty-seven. One said he was five eleven. One said he was five eight. My 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 point is, 
that two witnesses saw the same man and described him differently. It happens yep. all the time. 